series hybrid. In this, the internal combustion engine drives an electric generator and not the wheels. The generator not only charges the battery, it also powers the motor that propels the vehicle. This setup is also known as a range-extended electric vehicle, since the IC engine powers the battery and motor but never directly drives the wheels. Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss about hybrid electrical vehicle. In our previous video, we already discussed about what is EV, what are the power trends, and what are the basic components of EV, and what are the different type of batteries available, and different type of motors used in EV. And also we have discussed about uh, what is pure electrical vehicle and what is the circuitry inside all those things in our previous videos so today let us start with hybrid electrical vehicle so this is a different uh, type of electrical vehicle than the pure electrical vehicle so the name suggests it is going to have uh, more than one energy source for driving the car so it is because of that we call it as a hybrid electrical vehicle so the energy source of course we are going to have electrical energy source and then the another energy source it could be a petrol diesel or a gas or it might be a fuel cell as well so what are the different type of hevs available we have series or extended range hybrid type of hevs parallel hybrids and series parallel hybrid electrical vehicles so in this video today we are going to discuss about series or extended range hybrid electrical vehicle so what are the main parts of hev let us see a small video for it main components of hybrid electric vehicle engine electric motor battery pack with controller and inverter fuel tank and power electronics the working of hybrid electric vehicle is that, the fuel tank supplies energy to the engine like a regular car, and the batteries run on an electric motor. Both the engine and electric motor can turn the transmission simultaneously. So we have seen the main parts of HEV, which has the, the fuel tank, which is going to be filled with a conventional uh, petrol or diesel kind of fuel, and then this fuel is going to be fed to the engine, and the engine is going to work as like the conventional car which is going to produce the motion and this will be con connected to the generator and the generator is going to produce the electricity which is going to be fed to the power electronic devices the power electronic devices is going to convert this ac supply into dc supply and then this dc supply is going to be stored in the battery and from the battery the power supply will be fed to the inverter again a power electronic uh, device from the inverter it is going to fed to the motor and from the motor it is going to connect to the uh, you know axis uh, axle so that the motor uh, can drive the car so these are the um, you know main parts and this is how the uh, you know the fuel is get converted into electrical energy and then mechanical energy and then it is going to be converted as a motion in the HEVs. So now let us see what are the operating modes of these HEVs. So electric driving mode, so where uh, the you know the motor alone going to drive the uh, car and the engine is going to be in off condition, the combustion engine is going to be in off condition. So this means the battery is going to power the uh, electrical motor which is connected with the axle so that the uh, motor is going to drive the car uh, all alone and the uh, the combustion engine is going to be in off state in the next mode the combustion engine operation so where the combustion engine drives the vehicle the high voltage battery can be charged during this time e boost so the, in this mode the electric motor supports the combustion engine when there is a high load requirement the output of the combustion engine and the electric motor generator are combined together to achieve the load requirement so this is e boost and the last one is a regenerative braking where uh, when uh, when you are going to apply the brake in the vehicle and uh, that uh, motion which we are going to use it uh, to produce the <coughs> electrical energy and uh, to store it in the high voltage battery bank so the motion of the vehicle is going to be used um, to produce the electrical energy 
So the motor is going to work as a generator now and then and the powertronic devices will convert that energy into DC uh, supply and that will be stored in the battery. So this is a regenerative braking mode. So we have four modes. So as I shown you, so it's a pure electric driving mode which can be only for a very short uh, distance as far as the HEV is concerned and uh, we have combustion engine operation so this will be uh, for a long run once you achieve the uh, required speed in the car and you uh, you know you change to the combustion engine mode and where the combustion engine take care of uh, the driving part and the e-boost where you need a high um, a load requirement so where the electric motor as well as sorry electrical supply as well as the engine were both together going to uh, meet the load regenerative braking when you are applying the brake or the motion of the kinetic motion of the car will be utilized to produce the electrical energy and it will be stored in the battery so this is a regenerative braking features of hev so what are the features available let us see the features of hybrid electric vehicles are environmentally friendly, regenerative braking system, assistance from electric motor, smaller engines, and higher resale value. And the problems of these vehicles are less power, it can be expensive, poor handling, and battery replacement is costly. So those are the features of uh, HEV, hybrid electrical vehicles. So now let us see what is series hybrid HEV. Pictorially, yeah, I can represent the series hybrid electrical vehicle like this. So where you can see there is a battery pack, high voltage battery pack, and there is a fuel tank here. We have generator, we have inverter, and then we have a motor. So initially, the engine is going to produce the power and which will be fed to the generator and the generator is going to uh, produce the electrical power and which will fed which will be fed to the uh, battery through uh, ac to dc converter and this dc supply will be stored in the battery and from the battery it will go to the inverter so which is going to be a uh, dc to ac converter from there it will fed the motor so the motor is connected to the differential here so that the motor can drive the wheel so that the vehicle can move. So in this picture you can see uh, further clearly here we have a filler uh, to fill the fuel either it may be a diesel or it may be petrol whatever it is the fuel tank and the, from the fuel tank it goes to the IC engine the IC engine is going to convert this uh, you know uh, energy into mechanical motion so that mechanical motion is con connected to the generator so the generator is going to produce the a, a electrical uh, supply and this electrical supply will be fed to the ac to dc converter so this ac to dc converter is going to convert the ac output of the generator to dc signal which will be uh, fed to the onboard charger and from the onboard charger it will go to the battery bank so here it will be stored the electrical energy will be stored and from here it will go to the dc to ac converter so there is a EM permanent magnet synchronous motor so in this permanent magnet synchronous motor so you are going to feed this ac supply to the electrical motor so which is going to uh, run the motor and this motor is connected with the transmission so that it can drive the vehicle so this is the internal construction of a series hybrid electrical vehicle so same thing in a block diagram we can see here we have uh, the engine and we have generator and we have rectifier so from this rectifier output which will be going to the dc to dc converter or uh, from here it goes to the battery and from this battery it will go to the dc to dc converter again it will come to the my motor controller which will uh, you know change this dc into ac and variable uh, supply so this variable supply will go to this uh, pm sm motor so this motor will drive this mechanical transmission so the drive wheels can rotate and then the vehicle can uh, move so the electric motor provides all the proportion propulsion power so you can clearly observe that the generator or 
modes of operation you can see uh, the first one is a startup or a normal driving or acceleration mode so in this mode what is going to happen is we have a fuel tank from the fuel tank it goes to the engine from the engine it is going to the generator from the generator it goes to the electric motor and then it goes to the transmission uh, device and similarly if it is required the supply will be coming from the battery to the power converter from the power converter also it can aid the electric motor so that it can have a enough amount of power to start and acceleration and in the light load mode what is going to happen here here you can see in the second one in the light load mode here uh, the fuel tank again the fuel is be fed to the engine and from the engine it is going to the generator and from the generator it is going to feed to the power converter and for, from the power converter it goes to the electric motor which is going to drive the transmission simultaneously you can see certain amount of energy is sent back to the battery sent back to the battery so before here battery was feeding the motor and also fuel tank uh, fuel also is fed to the uh, engine and from the engine also the power is being uh, given to this transmission so both electric power as well as the engine power will be given to the transmission in the first mode in the second mode the uh, engine is producing all the power a partial amount of power is going to uh, drive the vehicle and partial amount of power is going to battery to store further for further actions and deceleration and uh, braking mode in this time what is going to happen when you are going to apply the brake here the kinetic energy of the vehicle will be uh, taken back uh, to the electric motor now the motor is going to act as a generator so this motor is going to produce the electric power and which will go to the power converter so this power converter is going to convert this ac supply into dc and from here it will go to the battery so that it can store the energy so this is called as regenerative braking and at the final one is uh, battery charging mode so when you want to charge the battery and even though the vehicle is not uh, running if the vehicle is in on condition so the engine can charge the battery so now you can see here the engine is going to produce the power which is going to the generator and the generator uh, output is going to power converter from the power converter the total output is going to the battery so the battery can be charged so now the transmission is not getting any supply from this uh, electric motor because it is only in the off state the vehicle is not moving but it is just char charging the battery so these are the modes of operation for this series hybrid electrical vehicle so in a summary we can see in a serious uh, hybrid powertrain the internal combustion engine is not providing torque directly to the drive wheel yes of course the whatever the power is produced from the engine which is be fed to the electric generator from the generator it goes to the power electronic devices and then it goes to the battery and from there it goes to the motor and then it goes to the uh, axle so this is how the power is being given so instead the engine is powering an electrical generator which provides an electrical energy to traction electrical motor a series hybrid is using two electrical machines as we have seen so one is the electric generator which is producing the electrical energy and the uh, next one is electrical motor which is going to drive the motor when we are giving the supply so there are also noticeable difference between parallel hybrid and the series hybrid so though we have not seen the parallel hybrid yet so what is the difference uh, there is no mechanical connection between the engine and the drive wheel so there is no need for a transmission in the series hybrid type of vehicle so this is the difference so no coasting since the electric motor will be always connected to the drive wheel so this is another point since the vehicle speed does not depend on the engine speed the operating point of the engine uh, speed and torque can be set in order to achieve maximum full efficiency so this is very important aspect of this series hybrid so this is the advantage of a series hybrid type of electrical vehicle since the engine is not directly driving the uh, you know and the axle so here what is going to happen so you can have optimal speed to get the maximum efficiency and uh, from the battery we are going to take the electrical power uh, which will uh, satisfy the amount of speed which you need for uh, running that particular vehicle 
So the series hybrid is a double energy conversion method. So as I told you, so the fuel energy is converted into mechanical energy. From mechanical energy, it is converted into electrical energy. This is one stage. And then this electrical energy is stored in battery. And this electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy, again using a motor. So that's why it is called as a double energy conversion type of device. And that's it for uh, this uh, series hybrid electrical vehicle. So let us uh, see uh, how the parallel hybrid vehicles are working and what are the internal construction features, how it differs from series hybrid uh, electrical vehicle in the upcoming video. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.